Now, <clears throat> I'm going to discuss the next 15-20 minutes on something which is very important, which I do it once in a while. You know, if you really want to, if you see all the toppers, though they must have told you, okay, I have done this, I have done that, I have, you know, I have studied Pulse so many times, I revised so many times, we'll be wondering, how did they do that? Are, I am also, I am not able to do. For example, Raulat, the girl who got the fifth rank, you know, so when I spoke to her, I mean, um, I think she just got married recently. She said, yes, I did this, I did this, I was able to do that, I was able to do this. You know, most of the toppers have a very constant thing in themselves that consciously or subconsciously, they're managing their time well. And we are not being able to do it. Okay. Many of them ask, sir, everybody is studying from Pulse, everybody is studying from BDS Next App, everybody is doing the pink papers. What is the difference? Right? It's like how my son told me that he knows to play chess. Yeah? He knows, it's a horse moves like that, elephant moves like that. He knows to play chess. Hare wow. Is that it? <laughs> right? Uh, so it is like that. Okay. So <clears throat> everybody will know all the moves and everything. But that same same uh, chess board with the same pieces has a million different variations. The same pulse, the same BDS next step, the same institute papers, the same teacher, not the kurta, but the same teacher. <laughs> There are different variations in each of you. Okay, but one thing I would really love to stress on is my dear students about time management. Okay, now what I'm going to tell is something which you can keep it for your life. Okay, and just try to understand how and why this time management is very important. We'll just go through some few basic principles on time management. Okay, just 15 minutes. I'm sure that it will really help you all in a very big way. Okay, now time management we have heard this many times many big people would have given big lectures you must have had your teachers i don't know have they okay forget it yeah. so time management people have spoken about it now <clears throat> something which i do i try to do for me also trying to manage everything is, is a very very difficult task right um, having the centers here and there your exams coming up my staff here the college there my family my wife, so a lot of stuff. So we have to give time for each and everything, you know, without effective time management, it's all gone. Now when it comes to time management, okay, one basic principle, okay, let me just go on. The first thing is, uh, which students in Davan Giri, which most of you all are doing is, uh, there's something called as own your time. Now I don't know if you, you know, if you've heard of this before, own your time. So what is that, sir? See, let's imagine that you are staying at home and you are studying, okay? Now, there is this examination that is there, this particular PSM, Preventive and Social Medicine exam on this Sunday. You are, you are, you are reading at home and suddenly you are, uh, some relative whom you have not even seen for many years suddenly walks in. Hi, beta, how are you? And you are like, shit, gone. You know? And then mom and family and everybody. So what's happening is, even though you have decided to do something, that time which you have is entirely not yours. Students who are going for internship to college, they want to study a lot, but they are forced to be somewhere. So you can't help it. So you are doing your internship. So get the time that you get is very less. Students working in clinics. We have many students who are working in clinics. That's the reason why we cannot keep our Sunday exam on other weekdays because they come back home at 8.39. <coughs> so many practicing people, people who own clinics. So you are giving some time there, you know, so you're not focusing entirely on what you want to do. But students who give yourself, you know, like for example, you're staying away from home, you're staying away from, I mean, even if you're at home, if you can discipline yourself to go to a library close by, and that's the reason why I think that that 14th rank girls uh, thing on Insta, what she said, Chelsea, I think I've put it on WhatsApp for all of you. Even though she was married in the same city, she took another room for herself in the last five months because she wanted to, not that she didn't want to see her husband, she wanted to distance herself. And then she realized that I need to give this time for myself. You know, so that is called owning your time. You have to study. Unfortunately, our entrance exams, whether it is medical or dental, 10 to 12 hours of effort. I know it, it's difficult, it's, e it's easy to say 10 to 12. It's not very easy, but you have to. 
So the first thing is own your time. When you say own your time, you get up in the morning, 6.30, whatever, take a bath. And then you plan out something. So if you're away from home, if you're away from all the other kind of response, if you're not working, if you're dedicated only for your studies, I know that this 10 to 12 hours is my time. And I'm not going to give it away to anybody. When I say anybody, it is anybody. If you have your boyfriends, girlfriends, or anybody, or even your best friends giving you a call and everything, okay, listen to them, talk to them once in a while, but prioritize. You know, I'll come to priority later. But what I'm saying is, you own your time. You know, that time what you have is very precious. It's not easy, my dear students, to write the entrance once, come back, write again, come back. What is it? It's a joke or what? It's your life. It's your precious life. And we have to move ahead in this uh, battle as soon as possible. Right? I have many students here who have not yet completed internship, but they are here in Davangere studying. You know, because they want to get through as soon as possible. Some of us have, there are some of you here who have finished BDS three years back. I have students who have finished BDS 12, 13 years back. They're working and, and they want to do their MDS now. So, you know, so <clears throat> whatever. So keep that time, own, own your time. The second, I think a, a very, very important thing is, one, I'll just write it here. One main objective for the day. One main objective for the day. You know why this is important? You get up in the morning. Oh, I have community to do. I have pharmacology to do. I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, what else? Perio to do. I have oral pathology to do. <gasps> Thank God, no general surgery today. So, yeah. I have so many things, right? So, you prioritize that one thing. I'll tell you why that one thing is important. At night, when you have finished your reading, you should feel content that today has not been wasted. When you have so many things, you have done little bit of everything, you have not highlighted ki, what should I do today? What is my task today? At the end of day also, you are like, I don't know. Remember, we cannot do everything, everything uh, very well. Okay. So this one agenda, for example, your agenda tomorrow I, I, I will revise, uh, let us say, uh, biostatistics and epidemiology tomorrow. That is my main agenda. One main agenda. After that, you do whatever you want. You want to study another subject. You want to do this. You want to do that. Irrespective. At the end of the day, you should have completed that one big agenda for yourself. If you have completed that, you know, at the end of the day, you feel, okay, I'm doing something. I have done something. I have progressed today. You know, there will be many small things, but it's okay. It's like uh, in root canal treatment, the master one. Yes. Forget the accessories, but let me finish that. You know, so if you have done that one, uh, don't keep a huge goal. I'll finish community today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be practical. What is level? Yeah. How much can I study? Is my speed good? Have I done this before? Am I doing it well? And then you decide and I'll do that. That is my one goal which I have to finish. That's very, 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 very important. Okay. So you own your time. So when I'm saying owning your time, it comes with a lot of other things. Right? So this time, what I have for me is so precious, I'm not going to give it to anything else. Why? Because from here, you're going to lift up. You do well. You get into a government college, you know, the government pays for your education, you do it. Uh, there was a student who has got a ranking of 11,000 or something just this weekend. Uh, Bangalore, I was there, so this this particular parent had come and she said, Sir, see, I, I want uh, my uh, daughter to do an oral surgery because she wants to be an oral surgeon. But I said, ranking is 11,000, you know. You have a ranking of 11,000. Know, he said, any management seat anywhere. Okay, that, that is not the question. You pay that much. You get into a college where you don't have much OP. And you want to become an oral surgeon. Okay, where is the hand skill? Until as you have operated on patients. Obviously, no government college also will teach you everything. But at least because of the patients, you work on a lot of patients. Being an oral surgeon removes the fear of blood and tissue handling and all these things is over. You work in a small college where the OP is 30, 40 patients per day, you know, I mean, and in that, for oral surgery, you have <coughs> that many patients. How are you going to learn? Isn't it? So it makes a huge difference. People are ready to pay that much money. But are you getting the benefit out of it? 
you go down to okay let's say uh, any hotel okay 10 rupees you you drink a coffee for 10 rupees okay you can go to a five star hotel also and have a coffee for 500 rupees <coughs> but if that coffee is not good for 500 rupees that rupees what you're paying has no value 10 rupees in a small shop you have coffee and it makes you feel happy that's content you know you that's contentment in that 10 rupees which you'll not get in 500 rupees also so just because you are paying a lot of money does not mean that you are necessarily getting something better okay so that's one thing next so there's two things then something which all of you should realize there is a vu vi concept you know which in 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 philosophy is like don't panic too much let things happen in its own time now this own time is different that own time is different okay let things happen in its own time do not mistake me for this sir kya bol rahe hain sir wait the example given in vuvi philosophy is suppose let's see that there is a farmer who has put a seed in the ground okay and uh, he's very eager for the seed to grow and he keeps watering it and he waters it 5 times a day 10 times a day 15 times a day what's going to happen just because he wants the seed to grow will the seed grow nahi seed hai hai get lost i will grow when i want to grow understood right i will grow when i want to grow so you giving me extra things is not going to help me so there is a time and tide for everything the next thing is on the other hand if the carpenter i'm sorry if the farmer is so eager if he digs into the soil and takes up that seed and checks aha okay and then puts it back again next day again he checks is it growing is it growing what will happen it's a very important philosophy given to you in the exam no go don't go looking for that farmer you come here man <laughs> so what i'm going to tell is there is a time and tide for everything my dear students you have started your preparation you have started your preparation only am i clear your if this is your field this is your field you focus on that field the neighbors have bigger fields wow sir their plants are so big minus a seed inside when you put more water and you take it out every time and get disappointed huh you understanding what i'm saying why because i i get this whatsapps from students there's a particular girl who i think she's from manipur or something and she said so uh, um i don't think i can do it i said okay um, first time okay first dialogue i don't think i can do it and then i said okay uh, when did you start your preparation 6 days back <clears throat> very good eh huh? 6 days back very good i said okay then <laughs> so <clears throat> my dear students when you want something to grow you just look at a particular plant you know nature you just look at it it has its own time you have to have the faith in yourself and water it appropriately nourish it appropriately your body your mind is your temple you have to take care of it only you can take care of it if you give it positive feelings if you tell yourself i will do it i don't care about what the others are doing i will do it in my own time in my own time i will excel in my own time i will do well isn't it you look at the zaina city the arvind rank last time his neat ranking was 11000 11500 and so if he would have thought himself okay mera level itna hi hai my level is only 11500 and he would have given up he would not have got the first rank in in inicity what he got this time right so there is another girl who was like uh, you know like 14 15000 in the last neat 14 to 15000 last neat and this time she's got like 26 or 27 in neat so if if that person would have decided ki this this is my level i don't know So, so what I'm what I'm trying to tell you all is, my dear students, is that suppose let's say there are around 250 or yeah 250 odd students here listening to this lecture. Everybody has your own time, okay? So if somebody is doing a particular topic in 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 four hours, it does not mean that you should do it in four hours. You might take a little longer, right? 
So your your method of grasping may be different. His or her method of grasping may be different. So please don't compare. I know it's very difficult thing to tell not to compare, but that's the only way which we are going to grow. Am I clear? That's the only way we are going to grow because you focus on yourself, right? I have finished my anatomy exam. I have realized that. Let's say that I have got the uh, the other day. I was talking to all students who have scored below one twenty. You know, I was telling. So if you've got like let's say around eighty five or ninety, it's very clear. I have not done my subject entirely. I have done a few. I have left a few topics. I have to go back and I have to read it. But you, you should not, you should not label yourself. Ki ha, ma, bus. This is this is me. That is a very very wrong thing to do, my dear student. Because I am telling you, okay, from my experience, last time itself, you know, uh, we had like let's say around around three thousand students. So this boy was from Jaipur. Around three thousand students. I uh, was writing. He said, sir, my ranking was two thousand eight hundred and something when he started off, and he landed up for the NEET with a ranking of one hundred and forty six in in the in the in the NEET exam. I'm talking in in the series, of course, and then he started moving from 2008. And so I've seen so many students change because you know, uh, for most of us, this is something very new. Most of us have started studying, let's say, around after NEET. Yes, uh, those of you have joined after me, one month, one and a half months, you're slowly getting to the pace of it. Then you start reading slowly, and then you know you pick up, and then you scroll. It's like that. Stick to the essentials. Right, so you listen to what your teacher is telling you. Let me, okay, let's say that okay, one basic MCQ, or your BDS next time, or your papers, whatever you want to do. Um, mm, you must have heard, um, like she said, less is more. You know, whatever you're doing, less you do that very well and repeatedly, and your job will be done. So, so uh, please do not compare. You have your own time. You have to, you have to respect your own time, and you will grow. You will finish almost all the test series by end of October, November. You will write your AIMS exam, and then we'll wait patiently for the, uh, the NEET exam to come. And by the time we'd have revised it again, we'd have revised it again, and that is how you all become better, isn't it? Right? For example, pharmacology. Right? Now, for example, anti-cancer drugs. Two weeks before, we didn't know what those drugs are. Now we know a little bit about it. Little bit only. We know little bit about it. But that's enough. That is enough. Right, pharma will come for fourteen marks. Anti-cancer might come for one or two marks. Does not mean that you leave it, right? But you will learn it because pharmacology is one of the subjects which, you know, can bring a huge difference uh, between your uh, uh, competitors. Yes, who are writing it. Yes. Next, a very important thing in uh, time management is learn to say no. I'm sure from tomorrow, no. <laughs> we'll go for tea, no. <laughs> you can make a board and keep it. You know, just show that. <laughs> it's very, very, very important. You cannot please everybody. Clear? Right? <clears throat> Never. I have been an example like this, you know. In my school, I had a very close friend of mine. One day before the exam, this hero is at my home. Let us learn mathematics together. Throughout the year, I don't see him. Throughout the year, we are playing cricket and all. Studies though, and I was a little different. He was a little different. But one day before the exams, one day my dad took a class for me. He said. You are helping him. Very good. But where was he throughout the year? Why does he come one day before the exams? I mean, it might feel selfish. You might feel selfish. I was I was in my ninth, and then I I realized, hmm, okay. Not that I told him no, but you know, it's important. So, <clears throat> what I mean to say is, you have your own shoes, right? So your shoes only you can wear. Nobody else can wear it. So your life is different. Your priorities are different. Your parents' earnings are different. Your where you want to reach that goal may be different, right? So everybody has their own priorities, right? So sometimes under peer pressure. See, you should not get me wrong. I don't mean don't go for a movie together, don't have lunch together. That is not what I mean. Am I clear, right? What I'm meaning to say is 
wherever you feel that there is too much of wastage of time you can cut down it's okay it's it's all right to tell no if they are good friends they will understand you if they are not good friends it is not worth keeping it and you know in his you know they they tell you that friends when you say true friends true friends i don't know if you have heard to my uh, lecture on the three circles of life yeah so when you have you will you'll be lucky if you have five very good friends five five you count not hi bye friends that you love 10000 facebook so many friends not even you not have met them they would not have met you also or they look good on facebook like <laughs> that is the kind of friendship we have now right in reality when they come in front of you also you will not recognize that he or she is your friend five good friends if you have they say that you are the richest person in the world when i say five best friends best friends means who 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 listen to you you know who is who is there to push you who is there to support you in everything in everything right so you don't have to worry ki this person is not this person will not talk to me that see you are adults now hello 23 24 25 some of you are 30 so you need not bother about you know like in school even to go to the washroom come we'll all go yeah. <laughs> correct no it's it's that way group hum nobody will talk to that person no it happens even now i understand and boys so nobody's bothered hey, you're coming uh, no get lost uh. <laughs> girls are different you're not coming you're not coming <laughs> my god what all happens after that <laughs> What does she think of herself? Are <laughs> she is not coming? No, no, no. Already one full novel is written, <laughs> and some ten, fifteen WhatsApps also have gone. Ta 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 ta. Sometimes it's it's good to respect each other's privacy, and it's good to respect your boundary, your space for yourself. for yourself it's for you to grow sometimes you know these these creepers they keep growing here and there so then they tie them <laughs> so that you are giving a direction otherwise it will go everywhere <laughs> right so you you have a space you don't have to worry and nowadays i feel everybody is connected to everybody correct any time you want to talk oh my god this fellow is there you want to talk to mark zuckerberg also you can <laughs> eh isn't it so it's like that so you don't have to worry i mean i agree <clears throat> it feels good once in a while when you go out with friends for lunch tea coffee i'm a guy also who loves to sit and chat and and everything i i, I love that i'm sure most of us love it but i think now the phase in which all of you are in your your studying phase you should not really bother about too many things i mean those things are not that important it's not as important it's not that if you don't get a seat uh, uh, he or she will tell you come gdc mumbai i'll take get you a seat there <laughs> you want seat in molana come i'll get you will somebody get you is it possible no it's not so this this principle is important i'm telling you this principle is not about being selfish it's not about being selfish it's about giving some time for you to grow yourself and if you don't do that you know what will happen you will feel so bad you are so bad you know i have seen sometimes students sir because of this person i didn't study because of that person i didn't study galat it's wrong you didn't study because of you you can't blame the other person whenever something goes wrong it's human tendency to look for an excuse i didn't do well because yourself <laughs> i am perfect i am directly from heaven <laughs> okay so it's like that so you whenever i tell this this comes with a star condition supply <laughs> tomorrow morning your friend is saying macha breakfast <laughs> it's not like that okay obviously you also need breakfast go out have breakfast come it's okay it's all right i don't want this to cause any break in 
friendships and all that i don't mean that i hope you take it in the right sense but if you feel that there's too much of time getting wasted and wasted and wasted um, then i think it's time to draw boundaries to cut yourself because um, so what i'm telling you is we don't realize but a lot of time is getting wasted in so many things in so many things in so many things when you see a topper who's studying see for example you see sada with a daughter two and a half year old daughter i had a student long before in uh, davangiri when she was studying uh, she had a, uh, she had uh, an 8 month old baby man 8 month old baby luckily her uh, parents were there here they also you just imagine the dedication now huh? they moved all the way from their place they took a room here with their parents uh, you know uh, the the parents to take care of the baby and and this girl so that this girl could focus and study C- can you see that sacrifice you know so if these people don't get the seat then hard work has no meaning so what i'm telling you is so when she has come here she knows that i have to study right i have to study i've given you this example before uh paper right when the paper when you keep it uh, like let's say in the sunlight nothing will happen to it right but when you hold that magnifying lens and you keep it there what's going to happen it focuses it concentrates and it falls on the paper and that paper burns I'm not linked tomorrow burn pulse <laughs> but what i'm trying to tell you is try to get that focus so what is the difference between me and him i also study the same thing these are the differences these are the differences i don't know if you maintain this a small diary small diary it's so important not to write love letters it's so important to uh, write this few things down today or uh, you know as i've told you something about a uh, short term goal and a long term goal a long term goal is what i want to do let's say at the end of 2 to 3 weeks or one month a short term goal is what i'll be doing every week you know so you want to write down that one thing what i told you the the highlight of the day what's that one thing that i want to do that is the most important thing the rest of things you put it on the side okay this is what i'll be completing right so if you feel that there are things which you really need to do or catch up or something yeah, keep a small diary you can also have a digital one but somehow i mean i don't know i like the feeling of a notepad i don't know if uh, you you're comfortable with all your phones have the to do list so you can always look into it and then you can study okay right so all of you uh, hoping that you're getting a few things what i'm trying to tell you now <clears throat> should i study for my entrance exams should i study 10 to 12 hours a day the golden rule is as much as you can stretch okay if you are an intern obviously going to college you're going to come back and then study if you're free in the college please do study in the college but after you come back try to focus you might not be able to do two or three subjects you can just do probably one and probably uh, you know the next day you can study the next something like that but those of you who are uh, who are free the whole day study in uh, capsules okay study in capsules i've told this before but i just want to reemphasize this again what is study in capsules mean you uh, depending on your ability okay boys usually it's around 45 minutes to around 1 uh, hour i mean usual you may be different you can sit for one and a half hours maybe girls i think it's usually around one and a half hours one to one and a half hours okay these are called capsules what's a capsule a capsule is a time wherein you imagine yourself that you're holding a magnifying lens okay so that you have to burn what you're studying that's a capsule so <clears throat> let's say for boys okay let's take for girls i think it's easier right because most of you are girls so when you say uh, capsule you start at 7 7 to 8 30 okay is one capsule you you make your capsule depending on when you sleep when you get up so should i uh, should i be a morning person should i be a night person all that has no relevance however you want to study you study okay you should be comfortable but for memory uh, they say the two things are very important one is your time of sleep and time to get up should be the same almost every day because it's called that rhythm circadian rhythm your brain works better 
that's one thing secondly you you study in the environment in the way you are going to give your final exam for example you study with a table and chair i believe when you study and it can reproduce better retention is better i don't know but they say but most of us have a habit of sleeping on the bed and keeping one pillow uh, that nice pose and then keeping pulse on top <laughs> or pulse has one more pillow i don't know <laughs> so when you're studying in that pose already your hypothalamus has given the the signal that 50% normally we try to absorb in this pose 10% <laughs> and then you're giving your exam in a totally different pose very rigid pose you're sitting with a table and a chair your brain is confused what is it trying to do you know you know so usually it's better you study with a table and a chair it really makes and a clean table is always better got my point clean table okay yeah <laughs> okay so tomorrow all table cleaning will be done <laughs> right so what i mean see all of you even to study one and a half hours it is not easy it is very difficult my personal time capsule is around 40 minutes anything more than 40 minutes i get irritated i get very irritated i'm a very very slow reader i think i've told this to you i'm a very slow reader so for me after 40 minutes i feel i've burnt myself down and i have to go out and irritate somebody and come back <laughs> or listen to some nice gossip and oh wow wow <laughs> and then throw it and then come back <laughs> right okay so uh, if you can study for one and a half hours it's amazing it's brilliant okay so you start at 7 till 8:30 you decide that i'm going to finish so much so you finish it till 8:30 there is absolutely no disturbance put this fellow in airplane mode let him fly make him free jee le apni zindagi don't disturb me for one and a half hours that's it uh, me and my books that's it <clears throat> am i clear uh, besides your app okay right so 8:30 then you go down uh, if you're here nice filter coffee south indian filter coffee it has all that chikori and all that all the brain cells get extra activated i mean whatever you want to have coffee le lo tea le whatever one one and a half hours you take a break okay 10 to 11:30 is another capsule i'm i'm just giving you too much you need not take so much right but uh, <clears throat> very less recharging also is useless all right you uh, you st you study till 8:30 with that kind of focused energy what i'm telling and then you go out you walk down and then you come back 8:35 you start again by 8:45 you'll close or you will open your insta okay so 10 to 8 10 to 11:30 right then probably uh, take a half an hour break or something 12 to 1:30 go for lunch you want to sleep you sleep no problem okay let's say 3:30 to 5 very relaxed huh two hours my god uh, half movie also you can watch okay have coffee tea chat with your friends irritate them no problem 6 to 7:30 have dinner okay let's start at 9 9 to 10:30 how many capsules already my god it's easy to write with so much of break so it's already 6 6 is 9 hours already yes so it's already 9 hours with so much of break so much of break and if you can obviously so you're starting at 7 so you can take up from 11 to 12 or 11 to 12:30 or whatever so this with so much of break so much of break without any effort you can study around 10 hours focus 10 hours you can sit to the book for 18 hours also okay focused <laughs> not that you study one hour and then look at the wall there or somebody is walking into the library mm. <laughs> same dress yesterday also mm. <laughs> so see the mind what all it's calculating ha <laughs> eh? boys you are being watched <coughs> so so are you understanding so this is time management what is the difference between the topper and me why am i not able to talk because we are not doing things the proper way okay sir i am not able to do it i am not good my college is not good who is bothered 
you think the topper knew all this he was born as soon as he was born his mom said anti diabetic drugs <laughs> was crying too much anti cancer drugs <laughs> no you think all this was taught in college no if anybody tells yes i'll give you one because you're a liar i know i visited almost all the college i've seen i know the status no you come and you study you study here so everybody is the same wavelength the same intelligence probably during our bds we did not have that <coughs> focus or that that urge to study because the minute you join your uh, dentistry they tell you only one thing pass don't aim for 51% also 50 bus so what do we do we study the least with the minimum efforts minimum muscles of mastication i will do that after that there is facial artery in the textbook no my seniors has told muscles of mastication i will study that only but if it comes for exam <laughs> facial artery grows across the face <laughs> it supplies a lot of branches which branches god knows <laughs> where is facial artery coming from god knows but it supplies the muscles here there 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 everything full four pages extra diagrams exam was like kahan se where is this from <laughs> Isn't it? And uh, Papa has written so much, <laughs> not worth one mark also, but give two marks. Some of them diagrams are so beautiful. My God, it starts somewhere, ends somewhere, but the diagrams are beautiful. So give one mark. So that is how. <laughs> so all that will not help here. Okay. So you should change your mindset. You have to change your mindset. and let's study okay so time management is um so if somebody is asking so can they really study 10 to 12 hours a day yes it's possible and everybody can do it okay so you just see what is your time capsule it could be you know like you you time yourself right and tell okay after 45 minutes you feel i am getting tired then you stop then you take a break and come back and start again and uh, <clears throat> one thing about time capsules is that <laughs> as you nearing the exam the time capsules keep increasing you know it's like that only you know fire in the mountain run 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 right <laughs> when there is fire the minute you know uh, uh, last time uh, the exams got postponed by 16 months right and the neat exam was in may so the hall ticket uh, came uh, i think in april uh, hardly uh, you know yeah just 15 20 days before yeah and after that one student message me sir i'm very serious now <laughs> what were you doing for 16 months after getting the hall ticket that hero has become serious <laughs> before that what he was i don't know <laughs> you understanding right sometimes see you look back over your bds days also yeah the 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 um the intensity and the fear and the speed with which we study in the last 2 weeks is brilliant before the exams right and it peaks up the night before the exams no sleep nothing why can't we do it like that for a little longer time correct did we do that no but what are we supposed to do here and that is why you have these exams every weekend so that you have a goal a short term goal this is what i have to complete so that i will be all right and that will push you you don't know how it is pushing you but it is pushing you and you will be all right is it okay my dear students right so you have to try to follow these um, <clears throat> very few things uh, whatever i've said have i completed oh, of course yes yeah uh, there are there are two more things which i need to just tell you right so <clears throat> please understand whatever i have told you uh, then this i have spoken about before so i'll just finish it off just prioritize your uh, subjects and your study so for you it is not only prioritize what that your thing but you also prioritize your um, um subjects you know like which is coming which is where i'm weak and all that and then you can study so that's again a very important thing in time management right uh, because you will you will realize this 15 days before your exam Okay, how do I manage all these subjects in these fifteen days? So all these things, what you've learned, how you really do well. See, for example, 
now for doing community <coughs> you must have almost spent a week time you must have spent let's say last four or five days you're giving it some four or five hours every day and studying it, uh, towards your final exam for studying community you will not have more than uh, eight nine hours you got to finish the whole subject within that and you will be able to do it because it's not the first time you've done it concepts of epidemiology and biostats are already inside you just have to go through the question and answers like this you know whatever numerical values are there tables are there just we can just quickly go through so that is how good you will become so you'll be able to complete all of this in let's say around 10 uh, 10 hours to 11 hours maximum you will be able to complete okay so that's something over time right and then something which is extremely important and after this we will stop okay all right what is this? Yeah. Don't tell sir, I'm always alone. Now we're telling again alone time. You will make me one, I don't know. <laughs> Loner only. No, no, I, I, I don't mean that. Alone time is... Uh, yeah, let's remove that. No, it's very depressing, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's, it's basically what I meant by alone time is, uh, it's basically a time of reflection. Okay, in pedo, if you have studied, there is a concept called as cognition, right? Thinking about it. So this is reflection time. Reflection time is wherein um, you spend. Uh, ref this reflection time also can uh, vary, but something is very important. You can do it at any time of the day. Some of them say that it's best to do it at night and then sleep. I'm not. <laughs> I don't agree with that completely. Let's say at the end of the day, you're you're reflecting. So what reflection means is. Um, was my day good? Have I done things what I wanted to do? What probably I can do tomorrow? And reflection is also a time wherein you you talk to yourself and tell, it's okay, I can do it. I will do it. You know. So at the end of the day, if you are reflecting and you're like, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, your sleep also is gone. <laughs> and next day morning, you're again tired. So, you know, so uh, I think <laughs> reflection is best somewhere uh, midday. Uh, you know, like you just spend, uh, put everything down and just tell, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what I have to do. I think I know I can do it. You know, let how to be smart, how to handle this better. And you think about your subjects, think about things for yourself. It will really push you. It will really push you. Uh, <clears throat> you heard of Henry, heard of Ford, the guy who made the, the Ford cars, one of the first cars in the world. Uh, so he said, uh, so here, I believe Ford was giving an interview and he said, uh, Whenever I want things to be done quickly, I give it to the laziest person in the hall. Because that laziest person, if he has 12 hours to do it, first 11 hours, he's not doing anything. Okay, laziest or procrastination, whatever, right? Procrastination is different, but anyway. And then he will try to do it in the last one hour. So he'll try to do it in the shortest way possible. I'm sure all of us are very good at that. We are trained four years to do it. So what I'm trying to tell you is um, how to be smart. Um, you know, like, f for example, um, you're, you're finding that, you know, somehow, um, let's say there are around 40, 50 MCQs in one particular chapter. 10, 15 questions are not really making sense. You're given it time. You're given it, you know, one reading. You're given it a second reading. You tried, you're all adults, so, you know, you can think. So you can, you're trying to look Google up, but still somehow it is not very thorough. You give your best for it. If it's still not working out, then the golden mantra, what is it? Respect it and tell it won't come for exams. No, no, I don't do it for everything. <laughs> now, what I mean to tell is, um, you got to be really smart because you are studying like thousands of topics, right? A few topics should not get the whole thing down. Am I clear what I'm saying you? Uh, that it's not that important. You might think, for example, <clears throat> for example, biochemistry and ortho, you know, uh, for example, biochemistry, most of us, uh, it's something new. So you might spend a lot of time and ortho, you feel I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. And ortho will come for like 30 marks for exams and biochemistry comes for two to three marks. But you have spent all the time for biochemistry. Ortho to apne taise, so you have turned the pages and when they ask you simple questions, I don't know because you didn't give time for it. Are you understanding what I'm telling? So you could be really smart. This is that smart work is super duper important. Okay. I think by now you must have learned in cities how, how and what to do. So you have to be smart. Right. Hard work is a person who opens Grey's Anatomy and starts reading from the first line. You know. And by the time he reaches the third page, he doesn't know what happened in the first page. Right. So that, that's useless. Please don't try to do all that. So you've got to be very smart. You have a very limited time. And what is more important is... <coughs> Even if you have finished something, try to recap it again and again and again so it, it, it falls into place. Okay, all of you? 
डन हेलो सो प्लीज टू ट्राई टू फॉलो आई थिंक यस Uh, let me finish another two or three exams and then probably um, i'll also speak to you about some of us are going wrong uh, what i could see uh, in the exams and i mean majority are doing very well okay you guys are doing superb huh? the competition for this batch is like hmm, it's very high <laughs> very high i can feel it now right now okay uh, uh, but um, there are some students where i find that the questions which have been discussed in class questions which have been exposed in pulse we still going wrong in that uh, you know so there is something wrong very something very fundamentally wrong in in the way we are approaching that particular topic okay so i think that i'll take a small session sometime later like how i took something on time management now i will take this small session sometime later uh, on how to grab it from the what is the difference between an mcq and a, a textbook reading and how exactly to do the mcq reading um, most of you are doing it but i feel that uh, you know there some push has to be given so we'll do that okay but yes time management is the essence and you have to learn to follow it as strictly as possible is it okay all of you right it's not only for your entrance but it's also for your life right you will know it very soon okay after you finish and you go out even when you become pgs you have hundreds of things to manage you will have seminars you will have journal clubs you will have conferences you will have uh, department work you will have personal work staff personal work i don't know <laughs> so you have, you have to you know you should have 10 hands and uh, 15 heads to manage everything and uh, you should give a good smile with everything you know so you learn all that don't worry <laughs> so that is um, later for your pg life but as of now i think this is very very important. so if you feel that you're not following these things properly uh, try to set it right as soon as possible so that you do it and time capsules what i've been telling give it that time capsule study properly you know and everybody can if you are not doing your internship i strictly feel even the other day when i was talking to so many of them they said sir i'm studying 6 hours i'm studying 7 hours no my dear students no okay also when you're studying if you feel that uh, my my friends are thinking that i'm studying so much and all you just ignore i mean it does not really matter you know you just read you study it's for yourself you know uh, you tell them i'm a slow learner like how i'm telling you i'm a slow learner i'm very slow learner that's it so i take time to study it's end of it don't don't bother am i clear right if you have not seen my three circles of life i think it's important so please do watch it uh yeah 